ABC General Hospital spoilers revealed that as Charlotte grew older, she revealed her true nature as a Cassidine. Rumor has it that Charlotte was the one who burned down Anna's house. What is surprising is that a little girl like Charlotte could commit such a cruel act. People couldn't believe that a child as young as her was capable of committing such a heinous act. However, Charlotte's Cassidy nature seems to be gradually emerging. The Cassidy family is known for its exceptional traits, often capable of committing cruel acts to achieve their goals. Charlotte may have burned Anna's house for some reason or purpose that people do not know. The development of Charlotte's character and the strange behavior she engages in will feature prominently in Port Charles's story, and people will continue to learn to explain this young girl's surprising actions. Was Charlotte really the one who burned down Anna's house? What will happen? Meanwhile, Charlotte may be being seduced by an outside force when she burns down Anna's house. She was too young and had no real reason to commit such behavior without outside pressure or enticement. The Pikeman group probably recognized special potential in Charlotte and used her to carry out the actions they wanted. This could be part of a larger plot, and Charlotte could just be a tool in their hands. Everyone in Port Charles will have to work hard to find out who is behind the burning of Anna's house and what their real goals are. Charlotte may need help to escape the control of these people and return to the right path of an innocent girl if Charlotte is truly seduced. Is the Pikeman group the mastermind behind everything and luring Charlotte to burn down Anna's house? Or is there another possibility? Besides, rumors of Peter coming back to life and committing a series of evil deeds through Charlotte are a possibility that cannot be ignored. Peter was once a dangerous opponent of Anna and caused much suffering to her family. If Peter is truly alive and is using Charlotte as a tool to carry out his plans, this could explain why a 12-year-old girl could commit such evil acts. Peter may be using tarot cards to create excitement in Charlotte's mind and force her to comply with his will. This makes finding the truth and stopping Peter more urgent than ever. Anna and others in Port Charles will have to work together to uncover this mystery and protect Charlotte from Peter's manipulations. Is it possible that Peter really comes back to life and controls Charlotte? There is also the possibility that Charlotte did those cruel actions because she did not like Anna and wanted her to stay away from Valentine and Port Charles's life. Children may express their disapproval in unique and unpredictable ways. However, Whatever the reason, burning down someone's house and vandalizing someone's room is very dangerous behavior and cannot be ignored. Charlotte needs to face the consequences of her actions and learn from this experience. Regardless of the reason, harming others and causing harm to them cannot be tolerated. She needs to accept the punishment she deserves and be educated about the importance of respecting and being kind to others. Charlotte also needs support from her family and society to promote her learning process and positive development in the future. What is the truth in the end? How will things turn out?